here are the top four ways to store memory inside your N10 AI agent. What is actually six ways, but these two right here are broken, outdated, and simply don't work. The first one here is using simple memory. So this is when you chat to the AI agent, and this is the native one within N10. So here I can say something like, hello. What this will now do is it will store it inside the memory database here. And if I ask it, what did I just ask? Then it will tell you that that's an interesting question. Sometimes people ask hello simply to start a conversation. So obviously it remembers that it said hello. But the only problem with this is that if you have a new chat with the actual AI agent, it doesn't remember the previous conversations. The second one is using MongoDB memory, which looks like this, where we have the actual database, which is called N10 Chat Histories. And here we can see the previous text message, hello, and then the actual response from the AI agent, which is hello, how can I help you today? Now, this is mainly used if you want to store large amounts of memories. Then we have Postgres memory, where we actually store the memory inside our super base right here under N10 chat histories. And we can see here we have hello, how are you doing? And all the responses and all the chat histories that we've had with the actual AI agent. And then we have Redis memory, where we actually store the chat history inside a database that looks like this. We have our text message, which is human, which is hello. And then the AI agent saying, hello, how can I help you today? Now I've made a full video showing you exactly step-by-step step how you can set each one up, how you can use it, and also which one is the best for your use case. If you want access to it, make sure to check out the first thing down below.